In this video, we'll be hunting two boxes of pennies. We'll be looking for any wheat cents from 1958 or older. We'll also be looking for any proofs, foreigns, heirs of varieties, or any other cool things we can find. We do have a couple of enders. Ender in rolls two and three of the first box, so we'll get to them pretty fast. We have a 1953 Denver and a 1957 Denver, both wheat cents, so hopefully that's a good sign for the hunt. And I'll start the hunt, and I'll bring you in when we have our first find. Open the first roll, and I did mention rolls two and three have an ender, and since this roll is right next to it, we have another wheat cent. So this is going to be the first wheat cent of the hunt, besides the enders. And it looks a little worn, hopefully it's older. And it is, it's from the 30s, a 1936 out of Philly. Doesn't look like the DDO, but any wheat scent pre-40s is hard to find, and that's a great find to start off the box. Same roll, and I'm hoping this is going to be a good box, because first roll, and we already have two wheat scents just to cover the second one, and it's a 1957 out of Denver with a bit of a die chip in the nine. Just opened roll two, which was our first wheat scent ender, and I do see one more wheat scent right there, so I'm hoping... This trend will continue without the whole box because the, all the enders are near the beginning. So hopefully it's not just good near the beginning. The ender was a 1953 out of Denver. And then let's grab the wheat scent number two of the roll. Oh, it's pretty nice. This will be wheat scent number four of the hunt. Hopefully it's a good one. It's a 1955 out of Denver. Pretty nice. Luster doesn't exactly look great. Might be polished or something, but still four wheat scents in the first two rolls. That's awesome. Same roll, and we're going to have five wheat cents in the first two rolls because there's another one near the back. This one is another 1957 Denver. And I'll bring you back with the roll number three because we already know we have another 1957 Denver on the end. Just opened row three with the wheat cent under. I don't see anything else for sure, but the wheat cent under is a 1957 out of Denver. And I'm just going to check this one out. Looks a little older as well. And it is another wheat scent. It's from the 40s, a 1945 out of Philly. Seven wheat scents in the first three rolls. Still on roll three, and I just did seven wheat scents in the first three rolls. Make that eight. Just uncovered a 1950 out of Denver. Roll four, and I haven't looked yet, but that coin right there looks pretty old. I'm going to pull it out. Hopefully it's going to be an older wheat scent. And it is. I was right. I knew that rim looked old. 1924 out of Philly. First wheat scent from the 20s, oldest of the box. It's pretty worn, but any wheat scent from the 20s is an amazing find. Roll five, and we've had finds every roll, and all of them have been wheat scents. And we have at least one more, just to cover this 1956 Denver. And the one behind it looked old, and it did turn out to be a wheat scent. So we got that 1956 Denver. Then right behind it, a 1955 out of Denver. Hopefully the rest of the box is like this. Roll number six, and we have a find that isn't a wheat scent. It's our first foreign of the box. It's a Canadian, a few coins in. And this one is a 1998. Roll eight, and we have another wheat scent. First few rolls of the box might have just been different from the rest of the rolls with how many wheat scents they had, but hopefully we'll get some more rolls like that in the box. And this wheat scent is a last year 1958 Denver. Roll 10, just open the roll, and I see the back of another wheat scent near the back of the roll. This one also looks a little worn, so hopefully it's a little bit older. It's older, but it's in the 40s, barely. It's a 1940 out of San Francisco. Same roll, and we have another wheat scent. And it is a 1944 out of Philly. Roll 11, and I somehow missed it by the edge, but we have four number two of the box, and it is a 1979 Canadian. Roll 12, and the fines are going to continue because I just uncovered a 1958 out of Denver wheat scent. The one behind it looks pretty old as well. Oh my gosh, it's a 20 with a mint mark. 1920 from San Francisco. I don't think I've ever found that date in a roll before, and this one is... Decent shape, has a few details left on the wheat stocks. That's an awesome find. A couple more wheat scents, one more from the 20s, and it has a mint mark. That's awesome. Next roll, and we have yet another wheat scent. This box has been awesome so far. 
This one's pretty damaged, but it is a 1940 out of Philly. Same roll, and the wheat scents just keep on coming. Hoping the whole box is like this. This wheat scent is a 1953 Denver. Roll 14, and we have yet yeah, another wheat scent. This one is another last year 1958 Denver. Roll 17, and I'm hoping the wheat scents aren't drying up, but I'd bring you in because we have four number three of the box. And it's going to be another Canadian, and this one's from 1984. Roll 19, and I just uncovered another wheat scent, and it's another one from the 30s. It's a 1937 out of Philly. It's in decent shape for being from the 30s, and another pre-40s wheat scent is an awesome find. Just opened roll 20, and we're going to have a couple more wheat scents. Second coin in the roll, the first coin fell down, and I saw the date. A 1957 out of Denver. And then a little later in the roll, I see the wheat scent reverse right here. And it is... A 1944 out of Philly with some damage. Roll 21, just open the roll, and we're gonna have a couple of our wheat scents, only a couple of coins apart. See, that one's already a 1941, and it's from Philly, I'll check that for the DDO. And then the other one is a 1946 Denver. Just opened roll 24, and I see the reverse of a wheat scent right here. And it is a 1942 out of Philly. Roll 27, and let's hope the second half of the box is like the first half. Hopefully it will be, because I just got a wheat scent. This one is a 1955 from Denver. Same roll, just uncovered another wheat scent near the back. And this one is a 1947, that's from Denver. Roll 30, and I just uncovered another wheat scent. And this one is a 1956 from Philly. Just opened roll 31, and I see the edge of at least two more wheat scents. And the first one I see is right here, and it is a 1956 Denver. And then the other one I see is right here in the back. And this one is a 1944 out of Denver. Same roll, just uncovered the third wheat scent of the roll. And this one is another 1956 Denver. Next roll, and I've noticed that the left side and then the right side of the box have been the hottest parts of the box because on this roll, roll 32, I took the first coin, it was a 2009, and then the coin behind it is a 1958 out of Denver. And then a couple coins later, it looks pretty worn, so I'm hoping it's an oldie. It's not, it's just a worn out 1944 out of Philly, but still, it's another wheat scent. Same roll, and I just uncovered yet another 1958D last year wheat scent. Next roll, roll 33, and we have yet another wheat scent. This one's just another 1956 Denver. Once again, next roll, roll 34, just a couple coins into the roll. Just uncovered another 1958 Denver. Roll 35, and we have another wheat scent, at least. We have the reverse right here, and then a couple coins behind it. Also looks a little old. We'll check that one out first. And it is another wheat scent. It's a 1944 out of Philly. Now I'll pull up this reverse that I originally saw. And this one is another 1944, but it's from Denver. Roll 36. We'll continue our streak of finds with a couple more wheat scents. Just uncovered this damaged reverse. And then there is another date tied near the back of the roll. I'll just pull that one out first. I already know it's a 1957 Denver. Now we'll get this beat up looking reverse. And this one is... Oh my gosh, it's from the 20s. I was not expecting that. It's a 1929 from Denver. Pretty rough shape, but still, that's our third wheat scent from the 20s, and that's awesome. We're roll 37, and I'm starting to think the end of this box is like the beginning, because we're just getting roll after roll with the wheat scent. So I just opened this roll, and I see another reverse right here. And this one is another 1957 Denver. Next roll, and you guessed it, we have another wheat scent. Just a few coins in, it's a 1944 to Denver. Just opened roll 39, I'm gonna hunt the whole roll live because I see quite a few wheat scent edges as well as a foreign. Just gonna pull out the wheat scents right now. Here's our first one, it's really nice. Probably gonna be from the 50s, and it is, but it's a 1950 out of Denver. I was thinking that would be a later 50s, but that's a great find. And then a few coins behind it, I saw this date. 1951 from Denver, then 
Here's another one, 1940, that's also from Denver. And I don't think I see anything for a while. It's not one. Here's the foreign that I saw, it's a Canadian scent from 1978. And then back here, I see two wheat scents right next to each other. First one is a 1945 from Denver. And then the second one is a 1940 out of Philly. A couple more 40s to add. And that's it for the roll. So that roll ended up with five wheat scents and a Canadian. That was a great roll. Roll 40, and we actually don't have another wheat scent this time. I bring you in because we have a foreign. It's a Canadian, one away from being an ender. And it's from 1991. Roll 41, and we have yet another wheat scent. Just a couple coins into the roll, just to cover it. It's a 1944 Denver. Just opened roll 42, and I see the back of a wheat scent near the back of the roll, right here. And this one is a 1940 from Philly. Roll 44, not sure how I missed the edge at first, but hiding through the roll, I just uncovered this wheat scent reverse. And it looks pretty old. So let's hope it is. And it's not. It's just a worn out 1942 out of Denver. Rule 45. And this time we do actually have an old wheat scent. Because I just uncovered it. And it's a 1928 out of Philly. And I think that's the third wheat scent from the 20s already for the box. And this one's actually in pretty good shape. It has all the details on both wheat ears. So yeah, that's an awesome find. Roll 46, and we have yet another wheat scent. It's another one from the 50s, and this one is a 1955 Denver. Same roll, and near the back, there's another wheat scent. This one is a 1945 Denver in pretty good shape. Roll 47, and we have yet another wheat scent. Just uncovered it, and it is a 1944 Denver. Roll 48, and we have yet another wheat scent. Just uncovered it, and this one is 1952 Denver. That was all for box number one, and it was a great box. We ended up getting 55 wheats. That's more than one a roll. And then six of them were pre-40s with the 1937, 36, 29D, 28, 24, and then the best find is the 1920S. We also ended up with about a third cup of copper, which is pretty good. Now it's going to box number two, and hopefully it's like the first box. First roll of box number two, just open the roll, and I see the edge of our first wheat scent of the box right here. Hopefully that's a good sign for the box. And this one is a 1941 Denver. Next roll, and I'm getting some hope for this box because I see the edge of another wheat scent and a foreign. Pull out the foreign first, it's going to be another Canadian scent, the sixth foreign of the hunt. And it's from 1975, and then the wheat scent is right here, and it is a 1956 Denver. Roll three, and so far the second box has given up a wheat scent a roll because I just uncovered another one. This one is another 1958 Denver. Roll number four, and I'm pretty sure this box is going to be a sister box to the other one because I just opened the roll, and I see two more wheat scent reverses. It's great to have another wheat penny collection dump. I've been getting quite a few of them on my channel. And this first wheat scent is a 1950 Denver. Then back here is the second one of the roll. And it is a 1951 out of Denver. Roll six, and I see the edge of yet another wheat scent right in the middle of the roll, right here. And this one's going to be another 1944 Denver. Roll number eight, and we have a pretty cool find that's not a wheat scent. Saw this coin, flipped it over, and knew it was copper. Didn't expect that. Most of these state counterstamped coins are still in good shape. This one's brown. It's been circulated for a bit. And it has the Michigan State counterstamped on it. I've seen some of these states before, and I've never gotten to Michigan, so that's a pretty cool find. Next roll, roll number nine. And, of course, we have another wheat scent. I see the reverse right back here. Looks like it's going to be another newer one from the 50s, probably. And it's not... It's a 1946 Denver, it's brown, but it's in pretty good shape overall. Same roll, and I just exposed another wheat scent, just a few coins in. And this one is another 1941 Denver. Still on the same roll, and I just exposed yet another wheat scent. This one is another 1956 Denver.
just opened roll 11, and I see another wheat scent. See the reverse right in the middle of the roll? Right here. And this one is another 1956 Denver. Same roll, and then just a couple coins to the back of the roll, we have another wheat scent. This one is another 1957 Denver. I was just about to take roll 14 out of the box. I took it out, flipped it over, and we have another wheat scent ender. This is the first ender of this box, and it's a 1958 Denver. Let's open it and see if I see anything else. Just open the roll. Don't see any other edges besides the ender, which is another 1958 Denver. Roll 16, and I see a couple more wheat scents. Just uncovered this one, which is another 1958 Denver. Then in the back of the roll, I see one's date, and this one is a 1952 out of Denver. Roll 22, and we have another wheat scent. Box seems to be cooling down a little bit, but maybe it'll heat up later. Who knows? Wheat scent's right here, and it is a 1946 Philly. Roll 24, and I saw it when I saw the edges of the roll, because we have one of those odd-shaped Canadians right here. Made them in the 80s and 90s, and this one is a 1987. Same roll as that Canadian, and near the back of the roll, just uncovered another wheat scent. This one's yet another 1956 Denver. Next roll, roll 25, and just like the last roll, we're going to have a foreign and a wheat scent. Pull out the foreign first, it's in the middle of the roll, probably get another Canadian. And it is, and it's from 1976. And the wheat scent's only three coins in. And it is a 1957D. Next roll, and we're going to have another wheat scent. Just uncovered it, and it's another 1958 Denver. And while I have it here, this one back here looks old as well. And I thought it was a 57, and it is another 1957 Denver. Roll 30, and I just uncovered another wheat scent. It's obvious facing, and it's another 1953 Denver. Just opened roll 33, and I see the edge of another wheat scent. Box is definitely slowing down, but it's still doing pretty well with the wheat scents. This one has some corrosion on the back, and it is another 1958. Might be a Denver. Who knows? It's too corroded. Same roll, not even halfway through, and there's another wheat scent in the roll. This one is another 1946 Denver. Just open the next roll, and we have another foreign. It's going to be one of those Canadians with the weird-shaped edge, and it's right here. And it is a 1984. Roll 36, just uncovered, another wheat scent. This one is another 1952 Denver. Roll 39, just started hunting the roll, uncovered another wheat scent. This one is yet another 1958 Denver. Roll 42, just open the roll, and I see the back of yet another wheat scent right here. And this one is a 1952 Denver. Just opened roll 48, and I see that we're going to have at least two wheat scents and a foreign in this roll. Pull up the foreign first, and right behind it is the first wheat scent. Foreign's just another Canadian. It's a 1983, and the wheat scent right behind it. It is a 1955 Denver, and then the other wheat scent is right here, and this one is a 1947 Denver. Last roll, and we're going to have another foreign. Just open the roll, and I see the edge of what looks like a Canadian scent right here, and it is, and it's from 2000. Same roll, and we're not done yet. Second to last coin of the hunt is a wheat scent, ending it off on a good note. And it is a 1953 Philly. Now let's go on to the wrap-up. Both penny boxes have been hunted, so let's go over the fines. We ended up with 10 1959s, 30 estimates, and 25 2009s. Did have one miscellaneous find, which was that 1975 Michigan State counter-stamped penny, which is pretty cool. And then foreigns, we got 11, and they're all Canadian, ranging from 1975 through 2000. And before I go over the wheats, for copper, we pretty much filled the copper jar with the two boxes, which is pretty good. And then the wheat pennies, we ended up with 83 for the two boxes. 55 in the first box and 28 in the second. And of those, six of them were pre-40s. Two from the 30s and 36 and a 37. And then the rest are 20s, 1929D, 1928 in pretty good shape. 
1924 and in my opinion the find of the hunt the 1920s in probably about fine condition which is pretty good and overall this was an amazing penny hunt